studying the life of Mexican artist Gabriel Fernandez Ledesma. Gabriel Fernandez Ledesma was born in Aguascalientes, Mexico on May 30, 1900. Fernandez Ledesma was more than a wonderful painter. He was also a sculptor, printmaker, writer, graphic artist, and teacher. In addition to having multiple talents, Fernandez Ledesma achieved many things. To begin, his artistic field began when he was 17 and was rewarded a scholarship at the Escuela Nacional de Bellas Artes or the National School of Fine Arts. At this academy, he learned the woodcut technique. After several years, Fernandez Ledesma began to make his own prints in 1922. Three years later, in 1925, Ledesma opened up his own proper art school, which was located in a suburb in, in South Mexico City. At this school, students of any background had access to art. Many well-known artists studied here, including Isabella Villaseñor Ruiz, who he would soon marry and have one daughter, name, one daughter with named Olinka. Later on, Ledesma directed a magazine called Forma in the late 1920s. Lastly, from the years 1928 to 1929, Ledesma created a movement called 3030, which attempted to differentiate the teaching of art. Gabriel Fernandez Ledesma then passed away in Mexico City in 1983. This well-known piece entitled The Hairdo or El Peneado was completed by Ledesma in the year 1935 in the height of his personal and artistic educational career shortly after organizing his abroad exhibitions in Spain. Upon first glance, the stylistic features of the painting embody the emotion and elegance of Mexican femininity and customs. Geometric shapes, angles, harsh contrasts, and shadows on the mother and what seems to be the daughter who sits directly in front of her help create depth and tone along with the beautiful earthy color palette. Inanimate objects also hold great significance in the painting a water vessel and fruits at their feet symbolize cyclical vitality and fertility, while the hanging sheets in the background help create the domestic setting. Looking closer at the facial features of the mother, she remains focused and melancholic, while the younger woman gazes almost hypnotically in the distance. The focus on the painting, however, falls on the closeness and intimacy that is captured and the action of hair braiding relevant to the indigenous past where one's abundant hair was tied to their inherent sensuality. Altogether, this work further embellishes on the already beautiful feminine customs of everyday life and sits today in the British Museum in London for visitors to appreciate. Hello, my name is Esmeralda Mesa and the artwork that I will be analyzing is the industrial landscape by Gabriel Fernandez Ledesma. The industrial landscape artwork was created in 1929. The artwork is oil on canvas. The artwork looks like an abstract quality because of the use of line. Most colors are displayed to be red, brown, green, gray, blue, orange. The size of the painting is 61.4 over 52.4. The texture is that it has straight lines and curved lines. Gabriel Fernandez Ledesma's Paisaje Industrial or Industrial Landscape presents a powerful reinterpretation of landscape painting for the 20th century, leaving behind the monumental vistas of the iconic Valley of Mexico, made famous by his fellow Mexican landscape painter Jose Maria Velasco Ledesma instead depicts the new landscape of modern Mexico, the industrial factory belching out gray smoke against the deep blue of the sky and the dark red brown of the earth, a compact work that plays with scale and perspective, paisaje industrial merges industrial and natural forms to create a new vision of the land. In order to pay my respects to Gabriel Fernandez Ledesma, I wanted to create two different versions of Pan de Romerto. The first one is a frog, which in Mexican culture represents the renewal of spirit and change. The second one is a regular Pan de Romerto, which is layered in butter, coated with sugar, and seasoned with cinnamon spice. To honor his life, we also created an altar 
or in other words, an ofrenda, in which we used papel picado, candles, pan de muerto, and pictures of his most famous artworks and other accomplishments, such as El Horizonte magazine, in which his artworks were featured, and we also included art supplies like paintbrushes and oil paint. The lit candles represent the welcoming of spirits back to their altars. The Mexican flowers around the picture frames are to represent cempasuchis, or in other words, Mexican marigolds. Cempasuchil flowers symbolize death, and it is believed that their strong fragrance also helps lead the dead back to their altars.